हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक शेयर्स एंड डिविडेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एडिशनल प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स एंड एनुअल इनकम फ्रॉम द गिवन स्टेटमेंट सो लेट अस डिस्कस सम एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन दिस वन The first sum is a man invest rupees seven thousand seven hundred and seventy in a company, paying five percent dividend, when a share of nominal value of rupees hundred sells at a premium of rupees five. Find a the number of shares bought, number two annual income, and number three the percentage income. Now, student, in this we are given a man invest rupees seven thousand seven hundred and seventy. Now, students, you need to remember that the word investment or invest means the total market value. So, this seven thousand seven hundred and seventy means it is total market value. This five percent is the dividend percentage. When a share of nominal value of rupees hundred, nominal value of rupees hundred means it is the face value of one share. So face value of one share is equal to rupees hundred. At a premium of rupees five means premium is rupees five. So now we are given that investment that is total market value is equal to rupees seven thousand seven hundred and seventy. Dividend is equal to five percent. Nominal value is equal to rupees hundred, and premium is equal to rupees five. Now the first thing that we can calculate from here is the market value of one share, which is equal to face value of one share plus premium, which is equal to rupees hundred plus rupees five, which come out to be equal to rupees one hundred and five. Now after calculating market value of one share, now we can calculate The number of shares, number of shares is equal to total market value upon market value of one share, which is equal to rupees seven thousand seven hundred and seventy upon rupees one zero five, which come out to be equal to seventy four. So the number of shares come out to be equal to seventy four. Now after calculating number of shares, now we need to calculate the annual income. Now annual income is equal to D percent of total face value, which is equal to five percent of face value of one share into number of shares. Now, face value of one share is rupees hundred, and number of shares we have already calculated to be seventy four. Now, substituting the value and calculating annual income come out to be rupees three hundred and seventy. Now, the third part that we need to calculate is percentage income. Which is equal to annual income upon total market value into hundred upon hundred law. Now annual income we have calculated to be as three hundred and seventy. Total market value is given to us in the question only as seven thousand seven hundred and seventy. So it will be now three hundred and seventy upon seven thousand seven hundred and seventy multiplied by hundred upon hundred law, which come out to be equal to as Four point seven six percent. Now, students, let us discuss one more sum based on this one. Now, the second sum is Rajesh invested rupees twenty two thousand five hundred and bought shares of a company whose market value is rupees one hundred and twenty five. Now, the face value of a share is rupees hundred. If the company paid twelve percent dividend at the end of a year, what was Rajesh's income? Now, students, in this sum, we are given that Rajesh invested rupees twenty-two thousand five hundred. Now, this twenty-two thousand five hundred is total market value. Bought shares of a company whose market value is rupees one twenty-five. So this rupees one twenty five is market value of one share, and we are also given that the face value of a share is rupees hundred. That is face value of one share is rupees hundred. 
Now the company paid 12% dividend. That is the dividend percent is 12%. So now we need to calculate Rajesh incomes. That is we need to calculate the annual income. Now we are given that the total market value is rupees 22,500. Market value of one share is rupees 125. Face value of one share is equal to rupees 100. Rate of dividend that is G percent is equal to 12 percent. And we need to find annual income. Now the first step we are going to do is we are going to calculate the number of shares. So number of shares will be equal to total market value upon market value of one share. So total market value is 22,500 and market value of one share is rupees 125. On dividing them, we get the number of shares as 180. So after calculating number of shares, we are going to calculate the total face value, which is equal to face value of one share into number of shares. So face value of one share is rupees 100 and number of shares we have calculated to be 180. So it will be equal to rupees 100 into 180 which comes out to be rupees 18,000. Now after calculating total face value we are going to calculate the annual income or the annual dividend. So annual income is equal to D percent of total face value. Now the dividend percent is given as 12 percent and the total face value we have already calculated to be as 18,000. So now the annual dividend will be equal to 12 percent of 18,000 which comes out to be equal to rupees 2160. So now students, you all must have understood the sums of shares. So now you all can solve the sums given in your book. So till then, thank you and have a nice day.